name is Aretha Sarfo and I'm the PR director for Dollhouse. Welcome to our Dollhouse Fall 2006 Your Beautiful Ad Campaign. We're basically starting a dialogue with our customers to find out what makes them feel beautiful and what their idea of beauty is. Because we are in the fashion business and right now we realize that the whole idea of beauty has become so important to our customer base. And we want to start the dialogue to let them know that beauty is not just physical beauty, but also more inner beauty and things that they do. We're, we want to encourage them to do other things like community service. And we're more than excited to have landed Joanna Cooper and also Matthew Felker. I'm Joanna Krupa and we're at the studio of Nicholas de Brink. Uh, well, I started off with a magazine called Insight Sport back in Australia about three years ago, and they named me the sexiest swim swimmer in the world. And then other magazines copied, like GQ in uh, South Africa, Maxim in Germany, uh, Playboy in the U.S. last year. So it's you know it, it's nice. They like you know one, per, one magazine started it and they continued it. So it's great. It's you know there's tons of magazines that name other girls beautiful, and there's so many beautiful people, and it's flattering. It's, it's so flattering and nice that actually somebody acknowledges you and, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. We basically are creating a lifestyle brand for everyone. We, 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 our customer base starts anywhere from a 13-year-old to over a 35-year-old. So moms are shopping with their kids and realizing that the Dollhouse brand is much more than a junior brand. It's a brand that, you know, we have something, we have the basics that anyone could wear and, and also we have the more trendy looks for our younger customer base who wants to keep up with the trend and who's also an individual. And that's, to me, that's what Dollhouse is about. It's about individual and personal style and creating your own thing. And, and that's how the whole Your Beautiful Ad campaign comes to Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it's also what you make of it. Beauty and a girl. Hmm. When I was younger, 100% beauty. Aesthetics are usually the most important because you know men fall in love with their eyes and women fall in love with their ears, so to speak. As you get older, it's, um, you know, it's just you're around it all the time. You're around, like, pretty people, and it's just kind of, like, desensitized. It's like, great, you, you're really attractive, but, you know, beauty kind of comes from within. Like, are you smart? You know, what do you know? Like, where have you been? Where have you traveled? What do you read? And I kind of like the campaign that you guys are doing. It's kind of questioning what beauty really is and, and what it is, because it's like we, as society, we sell this, this like, stamp of approval. Like, if you buy my clothes, you're this or you're that, but what is beautiful? It's not just, you know, it's not Giselle whatever or, you know, you know, whatever supermodel, whatever woman is the face of the, of the minute, you know, it's, it's different. What's beautiful to me, like as a, I know this, many people say this, but a beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, to me, I've met many beautiful people, but they had horrible personalities and it just automatically made them not, not such beautiful people. So it's like about having great personality, loving life, enjoying yourself, feeling good about yourself. And just gotta be a happy, beautiful person inside and out because you can be beautiful outside, and that's not the whole, that's not the meaning of beautiful to me. Uh, my name is Nicholas Bruin, and we just shot the 2006 2007 fashion campaign for Dollars. Everybody wants to be, have a pretty picture in the end of the day. They wanna look pretty, they wanna look fabulous, they wanna look glamorous, but not in a cheap, cheesy way. It's a very fine line. In America, you have to be a little more commercial than you are in Europe because Americans like everything to be pretty. There we go again, pretty and you know, almost like a little fabulous, glamorous. I see big photographers shooting for like uh, American Vogue and they shoot very clean and commercial. It's very pretty, but then I see them in Italian Vogue and they shoot like edgy and, and grungy and you know, they, you, can, you can experiment more. They allow you to, you know, to extend the boundaries a little bit more than in America. In a campaign also, you want to attract a large audience because you want to make sure that your client actually sells. So you have to be careful that you, you know, you, you don't want to offend people and you still want to like, you know, make them look, you know, they can take a double take at your image. And that's a, you know, that's a balance that you have to like create. So.